Taiwan. You're amazing. It's true, it is so true. Everyone in Taiwan is so good to me. Now, the main reason why I brought this point up is because recently Sony Taiwan sent me a box. As you guys all know, I know you do, I love getting boxes. Let's go check it out. Okay, so the box really wasn't that hard to open, but it looks like there's two things in the box. Let's check it out. Number one, a nice beautiful letter to Xiao Bei. Now, if you guys don't know, that is me. Make sure you guys hit subscribe to this channel so you can see more good stuff. Wow, and beautiful, nice velvet invitation letter. Let's pop it open and read it together. It's all in Chinese. Let's see if I can cat the dog. So this is a, a challenge invitation from Sony Taiwan. And let's see what they want me to challenge. It looks like, you know what? I don't even need to read the letter. Inside here actually is something. Let's... Wow! Twice Wow! Okay, this is, this is beautiful. This happens to be Sony's brand new Xperia XZ3. This is one of their brand new phones. I've heard lots of great things about it. And I've seen many other videos from other YouTubers showing this phone off. I'm excited that they sent it to me. So before we move on, let's check this out. Um, now, it's all in Chinese. Xperia XZ3. Uh, bravo. It says right here, Liu Chun OLED. You know, So, but right here, this is actually pretty fresh, too. So, it's six inches, but it's also got no edges. So, they want me to do a challenge. It says in here they've got really high ISO up to 12,800. Really good for night shooting. That's impressive. And Xperia XZ3 Pini Shang Shan Xia Hai. So this is this is wanting me. This is this is a challenge letter for me, Xiao Bei, to actually go out in the field to go traveling and to try this phone out. So I'm always flattered when I receive packages. So I'm going to give this a field test. In just a moment, we're going to go outside. I want to take you to some places I like in Jianghua City, just down the road. And we can really see how well this goes. So once again, beautiful phone by Sony. This is the Xperia XZ3 Challenge. Let's head out there and let's go try it out. What's going on? I am currently right now at the Jianghua Kong Zimiao, which is this beautiful old Confucius temple. I love the history here, and I absolutely love the nice, big, vibrant colors that this whole place has. So I'm really excited. Now, here's the whole pitch to everything. I normally use this. This is my Canon 5D Mark IV. Beautiful camera. I take it whenever I go traveling and whenever I film. But today, we are going to be using this, the brand new phone that Sony sent me, and we're going to be trying it out and we're going to see how well it films. This film's 4K HDR, beautiful, as well as the film slow-mo, 920 frames per second. So I'm excited to let this go. We're going to try it out. We're going to film this and see how well it does. So, just a few things real quick. Number one, the camera shoots such beautiful video. It's nice, clear, crisp, as well as the colors are nice and vibrant. I didn't even edit that at all, and it came out perfect. But the notes was neat. We were just in daytime when the sun was going down and the screen was still nice and clear and very bright. Really nice when you go out to places like that. And then lastly, the sound was really crisp. So far, Sony, you're doing amazing. But one of the coolest things about this is the super, super slow-mo. Let's check it out. The Xperia actually shoots pretty good. I mean, that was pretty slow motion. 960 frames per second at full HD. Otherwise, guys, this film's very great. I'm very impressed with it, but now it's time to take it to a different test. How does it do when you take photos? So we're gonna head up to Baguashan with some beautiful scenery, and we're gonna take some photos there. Let's get headed up. 
So this is gonna be a great area to actually test out how the new Sony phone does when it comes to taking photos. So I will be comparing it with my Canon 5D Mark IV. All these photos won't be edited. It'll be nice, fresh, right out, out of the cameras. We're gonna see how it is. Okay guys, and welcome back to the Mijiang Studios. Now, I just had a ton of fun out there in the actual field, traveling with my family, doing what I normally do, but being able to take this brand new Sony Xperia XZ3 and to test it out. See, normally, I travel around with a massive camera. Well, normally, normally not this big. This is the photo that I took standing up on Bagua San, and you can actually see a pretty big difference between these two photos. It looks like what, what I'm just shocked about is how well this takes photos and how well the dynamic range is behind it. If you look, the greens just pop out and the whole, like all the details in the sky. And what's amazing is you zoom into like this building or so and it keeps so much quality. It's such a sharp image. So I was actually a big fan of this. Now I do want to say once again, this Canon 5D Mark IV is an amazing camera, but like most big cameras, when you shoot the photo, you're gonna be shooting it raw, which means that the image isn't gonna be the greatest coming right out of the camera. You've gotta put it into your post-processing, you've gotta edit it, go into Photoshop to really pull out all the colors, all the dynamic range and everything. But when you travel, guys, and you have a family, sometimes you can't do that. So to be able to have a camera like this that can do that, where one take, it does it all, is actually pretty amazing. Now, this is what I took of the Big Buddha, and once again, you can see how the dynamic range is so incredible with this phone. The details of the shadows are actually pretty neat, as well as it gets that wide image without distorting the photo. See, if you look at my camera right here, it gets a wide image, but the stairs start to curve. That's something I have to go into my post-processing to fix. Now I'm going to skip over to somewhere. I took some photos of me and my wife. Let's move to this next photo right here. Wow. Okay, so this is pretty amazing. Now, I'm gonna have a poll real quick before I tell you which one it is. Which photo do you think is the Sony camera? The one on the left or the one on the right? Make sure you do that poll up there, guys. But now let's jump into it. This is quite amazing. Now, the answers are gonna be right here on the screen. Just the difference, especially how it shows the dynamic range. The details are, once again, really nice. Everything's clear, everything's crisp. I like this one a lot. And then finally, our last photo. <laughs> Man, I love feeding fish with my son. I had to take a photo of it, but this is both of us right there. And it shows once again, it pulls all the details in the highlights and in the shadows, as well as getting a crisp picture every single time it's on focus. From a photographer mind, I look at these photos and I am actually shocked. It's really convenient, takes great stuff, as well as it takes amazing selfies. Okay guys, enough about me. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Also, I wanna know what you guys think about this phone and the video itself. Put your thoughts and comments down below. Do you guys like this kind of video where I review products? Otherwise guys, thanks again for all the support and I think you guys all know the drill. Until next time, I'll see you in Taiwan. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. Now, we are going to finish this video. I have a good news that I want to share with you. Sony because I really like you. I want to give you a gift. Buy it and then they will send you something. Thank you for your support. Now I'm going to show you the phone.